After ensuring my new resident was as excited to begin working as she was the other night, I made my exit so Dr. Smith could relax after the shock of realizing I would be her superior. She was one of five people starting today, four of whom were interns straight out of med school, but she landed the coveted special residency that St. John's offered. Because she'd done double coursework at Stanford and had already done her internship at UC Irvine, she could come here and choose the specialty she was most interested in. I was among the first people to be awarded the special residency when I was starting out, so I knew firsthand that you had to be the top candidate in the country to receive it. She certainly wasn't lying when she bragged about how smart she was. You had to be running on all cylinders and very little sleep to pull off what she did, and I know because I did it myself. When we met, I probably should have told her that I worked at St. John's, but the way she was going on and on, trying to be impressive, was too irresistible. I knew I'd see her this morning, and I couldn't wait to see the look on her face when she realized who I was. Typically, new hires would be directed to their lockers, given their badges, and thrown into the thick of it, but I insisted Chief Allen bring our special resident to me straight away. I'm sure it didn't take him long to realize I had something up my sleeve. Anyone who knew me knew that doing something like this was to be expected. Not to brag, but our team was comprised of the happiest fucking doctors on the planet, and everyone knew that if they weren't on guard, I would prank them when they least expected it. I loved working at this place. I loved the environment, and I loved the staff. Everyone here was filled with life and awesome energy, and they were dedicated to providing the best possible reproductive health care. One truth about our job was that the highs were very high, and the lows could be catastrophically low. So it was crucial for us all to be understanding and empathetic, no matter the situation. I took a lot of shit from my frat brothers about choosing this specialty, but I'm glad I didn't let their bullshit dissuade me. This job was about more than dealing with the female anatomy. It was helping bring new life into the world and helping women choose the right path for their reproductive health. And I can tell you that nothing is more magical than watching a mother or father lay eyes on their baby for the first time. Nothing. That one gets me every damn time. I came from a family that didn't place much value on my hobby of becoming a physician. Not to complain, because I've lived a life of luxury that most people cannot fathom, but because I come from old money, I'm looked at like a three-headed monster in my family for choosing to work. Unlike my brothers, Sebastian and Mark, who are perfectly content to live off the Astor's generational wealth, I wanted more. I'm well aware that I have no need to work, now or ever, but I couldn't imagine a life hopping from yachts to galas to weekends in the Hamptons without purpose.